Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play UFO Aftermath, a Senega-made game in 2003 for the PC. UFO Aftermath was a, and still is, a spiritual successor to XCOM, long before we saw the likes of XCOM Enemy Unknown released. And it was a game that caught my attention purely because it did seem to be a spiritual successor. It was one of three in a series that spanned over a good couple of years. And this one, along with the second one, are games I really like. The second one I like even more than this one. But you can't play games in a series without playing the one before. Unless it's Goblins, in which case you don't play the first one. So we're going to make a new game. We're going to call it LP Game. And it's going to be a normal difficulty game, and we're going to play in Europe. And we're going to play a new game. So now we're in LP game. And the first thing I'm going to do is... Slightly reduce the music volume. The music tends to be moderately loud in this game. So, how does the game work? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's play a demo. And by the demo, I mean a tutorial. We don't have to, but we're going to. This game is, as you could see in the intro, yes, sir. dark. In the aftermath of the alien attack, only a handful of people survived. By hiding in bunkers and sealed bases, or by freak accident, Malcolm McLean is one such survivor. Armed with his old colt and a shotgun, he picks his way across a once familiar city, that is now littered with the remains of the dead and inhabited by strange monsters called transgenants. Your gob job is to guide him to the other side of town, outlined in the green area. First, you should learn to move your control. <laughs> Basically, what the game is trying to tell you is that we need to go to here, which is a military base, and this strangely European town that looks very, very, very American. That's probably because the creators are American. Is totally frozen in time because we are in paused mode. This is a real-time strategy game which you control by pausing the game whenever you want to make certain commands easier. And look, there's a cow! Mer And a dead guy! So, we are one of the lucky survivors, eh? Well, it looks very lucky to me. You right-click to move, and you can assign all kinds of orders. I can make him just run around in a circle here. Uh, fortunately, we can cancel that, I do believe. There is a cancel last order and cancel all orders here. We are going to just go over here. There's one. And time has stopped because we've spotted a dangle fly. I should give you a close look at that thing. Isn't that thing pretty? Doesn't it look so nice? It looks like a massive lump of flesh with wings that have a human corpse attached to them. Do you know why? Ready. Because we they are. Also, time has stopped because Malcolm's orders have finished. That's handy. We're going to shoot this. Right click it. 79% chance. Dead. Malcolm has just killed his first enemy. Excellent. Kill that bastard. Yes, you did, Malcolm. There's really no way you can screw this one up. I mean, there are maybe two enemies on the entire map on this tiny little one. Now, this little thing denotes items on the floor. But more than just items on the floor. Malcolm has spotted another human. He lies on the ground, but he is not dead. The man can be healed with the handy first aid kit that Malcolm has in his inventory. You drag the shotgun out of your inventory, and you put the first aid kit there. <laughs> As you can see, the first aid kit has a bar. This doesn't. This game actually doesn't fully appear on my screen, but it's alright, because it will fully appear on your, um, in your video. So, we wait for him to switch them out. All done, sir. The time thing there denotes how long. And we move over to Brian. He's now in our team, and he's slowly Leading to death, and right-clicking him, heals the man. Ready? We could heal him some more, actually. There we go. All done, sir. We're good to go, as he will say. 
Because we have saved the man's life. He's equipped with an Uzi. There are two modes of fire. Aimed. Yes, sir. And burst. We probably want it on aimed right now. Burst really isn't going to do us any favors. So we need to head over to that base. There is one. By default, your men do run. There is a walk command. There's one. And there is a cudgel. The cudgel is armed with a gun. Fortunately, I'm under attack. Men are sponges in this game. It's dead. <laughs> you did yes, not sir. kill that. It's dead. I totally killed it. Ha free advice. Hands off my older. Your older? Okay. Fair enough. Wow, you are slow. Go on, you guys. Get to the chopper. Or as this mission is, get to the military base. <laughs> and that is the tutorial mission. The game will get more complicated as it goes on. We lost zero soldiers. One was wounded. Zero have to recuperate. Otherwise, you'd pick a soldier up and he'd have to recuperate immediately. Soldiers managed to kill two enemies. And we gain nothing. And this is the level up screen. Because you directly attribute your stats to things. As you can see, Malcolm here has excellent strength, agility, and poor dexterity. Whereas... And he has awful mental stats. Whereas this guy is pretty good at intelligence and average at everything else and good willpower and poor at everything else. Well, poor dexterity. They all have poor dexterity. As you can see, if I put a plus in there, it will increase his handguns, his marksmanship, his speed. That will increase a lot of things. That, ooh, that will increase throwing rifles. Shotguns are classed into rifles, I think. <coughs> But I want to give him a, a, a point in dexterity. The main reason why I want to give these guys points in dexterity... Ah, by the way, that uh, increases... Is it movement? No, sp speed slightly. I want to give them speed and dexterity. Your tactical mission was concluded. There was more fighting in the weeks that followed, including desperate encounters where survival was the only objective. But eventually, order emerged amid the chaos. An organization was established, calling itself the Council of Earth, aiming to unite what was left of humanity and wrest control of the planet from the aliens and their minions. At present, the Council controls only one base and the area around it. You have been chosen to be the commander of Earth's military and the leader of their spearhead unit, Phoenix Company. What are the odds I got picked? It's not like I'm the player or anything. Welcome, Commander. We, the Council of Earth, all three of us, are pleased by your acceptance of our offer. Because if you hadn't accepted, why did you buy the game, really? You will be responsible for our overall strategy. We will inform you about any trouble spots immediately. <laughs> Expect you to determine which are strategically most important and engage them with your elite squad, the Phoenix Company. You will also guide such research and manufacturing capabilities as we have obtainable. And we will give you more if we find them. You will get our best men and women, and you can use them to create an excellent team. These are great powers to go with such great responsibility, Spider-Man. I mean, Phoenix Commander. The destiny of humanity is in your hands. We have a globe. We can spin it. Whee! Oh my god, we are changing the fabric of reality! Actually, no, we're not. It'll be dark or light, depending upon what side we're on. As you can see, we have one reset. One engineering and one research base. And pretty soon into this, we get a new... Ooh. We have a mission. And I... Th you normally we get another squaddy. But as you can see, because I've made his strength, agility, and dexterity... <laughs> average. He can train pretty much immediately as a soldier. It will take him a while, though, so we're going to have to wait until we've done a mission. <laughs> Now, let's go to R&D. We have reports of UFO sightings on the ground on 
of the people on our ground, but we're un invisible to our radar. We have to develop a means of detecting these alien ships so that we can engage them. We can't research this, though, because we don't have a research base. To be perfectly honest, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to change this to a research base. We need to change that to a research base pretty fast. We need research before we need engineering. So, Brian and this guy. Here's our equipment. We got unlimited Colt 45s, unlimited Uzis, unlimited shotguns, no heavies, unlimited grenades, medkits, and flares. You'll never be using those. And unlimited light armor and light helmets. So now we can look silly like this. Hey, look at that. As a general rule, right now, we want to be equipped with shotguns. <laughs> want to be equipped with shotguns, their ammunition, and all the grenades that we can muster. And one of us needs to have a med kit. Anything over 100% by the way, and you get a bit overburdened. But that's okay. We can quickly polish off a single mission, then I can show you what missions are like. There we go. This one. We need to eliminate the opposition here. Well, I could show you a little more. Like, I could show you the fact that if you go into the squad and you... I believe there's a glossary. There you are. The standard in combat shotguns. The Spaz-12. Oh, it's just a terrible, terrible name. The Spaz-12. It's probably the something-something uh, assault shotgun. It's capable of dealing horrific damage at close range, although weak against armor, it's often capable of hitting several soft targets with a single shot. Here's our clothing. Clothing actually has an advantage in this game later. There is soft armor. A simple helmet is always better than nothing. Yes, it is. I don't know anything about UFOs, transgenians, or anything. We are pretty oblivious. The main reason why I'm... What we need to do right now is we need to expand, pretty much. We need... To expand and conquer the whole world! Reclaim it! Because right now, the only thing we claimed is a base in Paris and a base in Berlin. Remarkably close to where my original XCOM base was, um, in my actual run, I think. Not the first one, the first run was in Antarctica, after all. So, next time on UFO Aftermath, we will actually do our first mission. For now, I want to save the game. Like that. We'll do our first mission, and we'll start kicking the butt of the aliens! Or the transgenants. I take it the transgenants are not the aliens. Well, I know, but I'm not telling you. I'm not going to tell you because it gives it away otherwise. So until then, folks, I'll catch you later. I'll see you then.